Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord God Almighty. We bless you, Lord. We bless your name. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us and calling us and choosing us. And thank you for the open heaven. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. We are stepping into a realm you have never been. I said we are stepping into a realm you have never been. Hallelujah. Oof. We are ushered into a dimension of the reality of the power of God to deliver. Let me say something before I start tonight. This realm, this territory, this city is now open. And the powers of darkness and Satan, they will require a lot of work to close it again. <laughs> They need many years to undo what God has done in these days. And they require a lot of sacrifices. Because this city has been open to the Lord. Many Workers of iniquity have to leave the city because the atmosphere cannot work on their behalf. It's up to you, the church, to occupy. It's up to you, the saints, to occupy. The days I've been here, the Lord has not allowed me more than an hour of sleep every night. But I think tonight I will sleep. <laughs> Throughout the night, I've been doing some assignments. The Lord carrying me to different places in the spirit. And last night he said to me and said, now the highway is open. I don't know if you understand the language I'm using. The highway is open. The land is ready. And now, go call the harvesters. Hallelujah. The next time I'm in this city, I'll be coming for harvest. This time I came to dislodge. Now I'll return when I'll see thousands that will gather for a meeting of liberty. We could not do deliverance in the last two nights. We were just opening the territory. And just opening the realm. What you saw and what you see, that's not the deliverance we do. It's more, it's more, more powerful. It's more charged than you will experience. You've ever seen. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me say this jokingly. <laughs> you know, in, 19, in uh, the conference where we recorded that testimony with James uh, heard about me, it was a gathering of thousands of people from different parts of the world in an international conference. 
And as I stepped there, there were some witches, young girls, who had come in a meeting. So I stepped on the open pad on, on the platform, and I looked at them. One of them was in the front, and they were trying to do their tricks. They're trying to manipulate the atmosphere. So I said, uh, "Young lady, what you're doing is novice." That is too low for me. I was above that. And she thought I was joking. You're, and I, told, I said, okay, there are others. There were five of them, six of them, young boys, senior witches, in the conference. The conference had been going on for a week. And they were coming in every conference to manipulate and blind the man of God and the man of God. So when I stepped there, I said, you are here. I know who you are. And either leave the conference or I'm going to arrest you. So they thought I was joking. <laughs> then I said, now if you want to leave, you cannot leave. I've already arrested you. <laughs> and the people that were in the conference, like most of you, like they were saying, what's he talking about? What is he talking about? So I continued my teaching, my preaching, my sharing. And after the sharing, I said, okay, now it's time. I'm going to arrest you. And the people were looking at me like this. In three minutes, all the six of them were on the altar. Those who were in that meeting, who got that city can tell you, the angel of God could arrest one from where they were and throw them here. On the altar. The same is going to happen in this city. Amen. They will run to church and beg to be saved. Amen. Some of them will literally fall from the roof to the altar. Amen. I'm saying it. You will be in a prayer meeting and you summon pass through the roof and fall. And you say, where have you come from? And say, I was trying to project and I was caught in the spirit and delivered here. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. And if you came here, not for God, but to spy on me, you can't leave this room. Yeah. You can't. And you'll never be a witch. Yeah. Yesterday was the last day you were a witch. Starting from now, you cannot be a witch. <laughs> if you came to spy on me, this is the last day we're a witch. You cannot leave this place a witch. By the time we close this meeting, if you came to spy on me, you will tell your friends that you found a power greater than the power you've ever known. Hallelujah. So we are stepping, as James said yesterday, that buckle up. Eh? Put on your seat belt. <laughs> if you're sitting down, hold the ground. <laughs> because we're going to go into stuff this moment that none of you will remain in bondage. Amen. None of you will remain in bondage. None of you. There's someone called Jeff. Your life, you've been going up and coming down. But tonight is the end of that. You'll start to ascend in the spirit. And all your destiny helpers will locate you starting this month in Jesus' name. Amen. So we've been looking at removing idols as our step of strategic, prophetic, spiritual warfare. Now, this evening, I'm adding on another aspect of strategic, spiritual, uh, prophetic, spiritual warfare. One aspect, because of time, I'm adding one. What is that aspect? Because in the tradition of spiritual warfare, we bind demons, we cast down, we shout at them, you know, you see? We, we bind them and, uh, and we call them names. We kick them. We, we slap them. They slap us back, you know. 
And like we are having a party with the demons. They slap you, slap them. They shout at you, shout at them. <laughs> well, well, well. And you think you're doing something. They're just making you tired. You know? But if you step in your ordination. Ordination. Someone say ordination. ordination. You know, one day I was preaching in a conference in, in Botswana about national transformation. I preached for a week. I preached, I preached. At the end of the week, my father called me and said, James, what do you know about national transformation? You, that's not you. I said, what? He said, that's not you. Leave that one to others. And he said to me, let me speak to you right now. I've been in ministry over 40 years. I've not seen any man who has authority over the powers of darkness like you. Stay there. He said to me, stay there. And he said to me, I'm going to stop most of my engagements in the world. I'm going to stop most of my travels that I may concentrate on praying for you. He told me this morning, James, I'm praying for you. I've stopped every engagement this weekend. I am praying for you because I know if the UK is delivered, the world is delivered. He said to me, James, that nation has a call to deliver the whole world. Say, revival must come from the UK. And he said, if you are there, I'm praying for you. So I'm in my ordination. Praise the Lord. So we are adding something different from the demons. I don't have business with demons. I don't have business. But we are adding something more than shouting at demons. In strategic, prophetic, spiritual affair, they are dealing with idols, but there's something I want to add in right now. It is opening the prisons. Opening prisons. Some say opening prisons. And that's what's going to happen today. You know, casting out spirits and shouting at them and judging people may not help until you are able to locate the prison and know where the prison is and go with the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth is bound. Whatever you lose on earth is loose. And you open the prisons and the prisoners walk out. And what you're going to be doing tonight is opening prisons. Prisons. There are many people that can be here, you're seated here, but a part of you is in a prison. And you need someone who can come like Jesus in the, say in the book of Luke chapter 4 and say the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to do what? Come on, read your Bible. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and the recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. If you open in, in a, he said about prisons, he has sent me to what? Send me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the recovery of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty those who are in prisons. Some are the prisons. So our work tonight is not to preach. You're going to engage in prayer to open prisons. Can someone say prisons? Yes. Say prisons. Yes. So they're opening up. Open up. Now look at Psalms 142 and verse 7. It's a cry. We're going to cry together. Psalms 142, verse 7. What does it say? Bring my soul out of prison. Come on, can we read together? Two, three, read. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise your name. The righteous surround me, for you shall deal bountifully with me. Bring my soul out of prison prison. One more time. Bring my soul out of prison. One more time. Bring my soul out of prison. One more time. 
bring my soul out of prison. Now, as you say it, something is opening up. Say, bring my soul out of prison. That I may praise your name. One again. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise your name. Again, bring my soul out of prison that I may praise my Now say, bring my potential out of prison that I'm say, bring my potential out of prison that I may praise you. Say, bring my potential, bring my ability, bring my calling, bring my destiny out of prison that I may praise you. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise you. Oh, someone lift your voice and say, bring my potential, bring my calling, bring my gifting. Bring my abilities out of prison that I may praise you, that I may praise you, that I may praise you. Bring my soul, bring my soul out of prison. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise you, that I may praise you, that I may praise you, that I may praise you. Say, my soul. Come up, come out, come up, come out, come up, come out, my soul, come up, come out, come up, come out. Someone say, my soul, my destiny, my potential, come up and come out. Give the Lord praise. I, I know there are people here. You have been in emotional prisons. Emotionally, you are in a prison. A habit is holding you. A pain is holding you in that prison. But as I speak right now, you are getting strength because the doors are opening, the gates are opening, and you're seeing the light out, and you're saying, I'm walking out of this prison. Or somebody say, I'm walking out of this prison. Say, I'm walking out this emotional prison, this psychological prison, this territorial prison. I'm walking out of it now into my liberty in the name of Jesus. Oh, Somebody say, I'm walking out of this prison. The prison of shame. The prison of shame. The prison of shame. The prison of shame. I'm walking out now because the gates are open. Because the door is open. Someone say, I see a way out. Say, I'm seeing a way out. 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 Someone say, I'm seeing a way out. Someone say, it has been dark in here. It has been dark in here, but I'm seeing a door out. I'm seeing a way out. I'm seeing Jesus leading me out. I'm seeing the Lord lifting me, walking with me out of the prison. Out of the prison, said so the angel of God has opened the door. The angel of God has broken the chains. The door is open. I'm coming out. I'm walking out with my children, with my spouse, with my siblings, with my ministry, with my church. We are walking out. Someone be prophetic and say, I see the way. Someone say, it has been dark. It has been dark here. 
years of darkness, years of heaviness, years of depression, years of rejection, years of abuse, years of shame. But I am seeing the way. The Lord has opened the way. And I am walking out. I am walking out with my children. I am walking out with my finances. I am walking out with my spouse. I am walking out. I take a step out of the prison. Someone say, I'm seeing a way out. Say, I'm seeing a way out. Say, I'm seeing a way out. Say, I'm dressing up and I'm seeing the way. I am dressing up. The Lord is lifting me. He's holding my hand. I am walking out out of addiction, out of fear, out of rebellion, out of shame, 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 out of fear, out of fear, out of rejection, out of abandonment. I'm seeing a way out. I'm seeing a way out. Someone be prophetic. They just shall live by faith. I am not teaching. I'm transacting with you. See the way out. See Yeshua lifting you from the power of the grave. See Yeshua coming to the pit and calling you up. See the heart of Yeshua and say, I'm seeing a way out. Hey, 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 hey. I'm seeing a way out. I'm seeing a way out. Someone said, this cancer, I'm seeing a way out. This addiction, I'm seeing a way out. This power of darkness, I'm seeing a way out. This diabetes, I'm seeing a way out. This AO, this disease, I'm seeing a way out. This curse, I'm seeing a way out. My eyes have opened. I'm seeing a way and I'm coming out. I'm seeing a way and I'm coming out. I'm seeing a way. I'm coming out, out, I'm coming out, out of this disorder, out of disorder, out of bipolar disorder, I'm seeing a way, out of bipolar disorder, I'm seeing a way, out of schizophrenia, I'm seeing a way, I'm seeing a way, I'm seeing a way, out of bipolar, out of epilepsy, I'm seeing a way, out of the bipolar, out of schizophrenia, I'm seeing a way out, me and my family, me and my siblings, me and my dear ones, we're seeing a way and we're getting out. We are standing up, up and out, 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 up. And out, up, and out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, G. Thank you, G. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are dealing with my prison. Thank you, G. Come on, I see you. I see you running out. You are no longer victim. You no longer victim. You no longer victim. You no longer victim of witchcraft. You no longer victim of sorcery. You no longer victim of addiction. You no longer victim of drugs. You no longer victim of drugs. You no longer victim of pornography. You no longer victim. You're running out of it now. You're running out of. You are not a victim. You coming up? 
You're coming up. You're coming up. You're coming up. You are not a victim anymore. You are not a victim anymore. You are not a rakate bose ketea. Kabrakata kate kete kaya. Sharakata brakekea. Rosata. Put on strength. Put on strength. Put on strength. Dress up in power. Dress up in power. Walk. Walk to the door. It shall open. Walk to the door. It shall open. Take authority. Take authority. Take authority. Step over it. Step the scorpions. Step the serpents. Crush them under your feet. And say, I'm going. This is not my place. This is not my place. This dungeon, this prison, this darkness, this is not my place. I'm a son of God. I'm called of God. I'm an apostle of God. I'm a prophet of God. This is not my place. 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 I am going now. I break free. I break loose. 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 This is not my place. This dungeon, this darkness, this addiction, this depression, this fear is not my place. I get my senses. I claim my place. I claim my place. I'm claiming my place. I claim my destiny. I claim my destiny. I claim my calling. I claim my anointing. I'm claiming my place. This is not me. I'm not a prisoner. I claim my place. I claim my office. I claim my position. I claim my inheritance. I claim my inheritance. I go. Shut up there. Shikete braya. Rikete ya. Mate brike ya. Shikete ya. Marade ya. Rea. Shikete ya. Bring my soul out of prison. This is not my place. This is not my place. This is not my place. That is not me. That is not me. No. 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 Take authority and say that is not me. Say that is not me. Say that is not me. That is not me. That is not me. I'm better than this. That is not me. God called me. God chose me. God picked me. You can't keep me here. You can't keep me there. I'm rising now. I'm ready prayer. I'm rising now. That is not me. not me. Someone lift your voice and say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I am going. 
You can't keep holding me. You can't keep delaying me. You can't keep blocking me. Get out of my way. 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 Radea, you keeper of the prison. You keeper of the prison. You can't keep me in this. You can't keep me. You can't keep that man in that prison. You keeper, evil keepers of the prison. Let go. 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 The prisoner. Let go. Let go. Radeada. Rikerea. Shiketea. Rikerea. Radea. Rikerea. Shatebria. Sheketeara. Rikerea. Rabadede. Rikerea. the prison, the dungeon of affliction, and tell cancer, you can't kill me. Tell cancer, you can't kill me. I'm getting out. Tell that disease and the entire realm, give them notice and tell them, I'm going. I'm going. You can't kill me. I'm going. You can't kill me. I'm going right there. Tell cancer, you can't kill me. Tell the disease, you can't kill me. You cannot, you cannot tell the grave, vomit me now, vomit my destiny, vomit my children, vomit my spouse. You can't swallow them, you cannot swallow them, you cannot swallow them. I command, I come to the power of the grave, and I command the grave, vomit them, open up, let them come up, let them come up, let, let them come up. I command the grave, open up. I smite the grave. I smite the grave. I smite the grave. Vomit them. Vomit them. Vomit them. The Lord says, I shall lift them up out of their graves. I shall open their graves and call them and lift them up and lift them up. House of Israel, the Lord says, I shall open your graves and call you out of your graves and lift you out of your graves. You are there. Take authority. Take authority. Take authority. Take authority and say, Oh, you grave, oh, you death, where is your power? Where is your power? Where is your power? Oh, you grave, oh, you grave, where is your power? Where is your authority? Where is your power? The Lord rebuke you, the Lord rebuke you, the Lord rebuke you, the power of the grave, the power of the grave. You are no more, you are no more, you are no more, you are no more. Release the captives, the captives of the grave. Destinies that are buried, destinies that are buried, release, destiny help us, that are buried, release, destiny help us. The Lord say, house of Israel, I shall open your graves and lift you out of your graves and lift your potential and lift your ministry that was buried and Retebria, Rikereba, Rikerebaosha, Riterebaya, Shata Pradea, Rabra, Rikereboya, Seketekedea, Cabra de Bosch, Sakata Brata, Ratea. Pray, pray, pray. 
you see, your son, your son has been in a prison. Your daughter has been in a prison. Has been in a prison. That's not your sight. Your son became different. Something happened. Something happened to your son. Something happened to your daughter. And you're seeing, this is not the child God gave me. This is not the boy God gave me. And you say, what happened to my son? It has been a prison. And it's, I see a young man crying out and saying, Mommy, I'm in a prison somewhere. I see a girl saying, I'm in a prison somewhere. They trapped me here and I cannot come up. But this is what I see. God is handing over keys and he saying, open it. Open the prison. Open the prison. Open the prison. Church, open the prisons. Open the prisons. Open the prisons. The prisoners are coming up. Open the prison. Open the prison. They are coming up. They are coming up. Oh, open the prisons, open the prisons, that is not you, that is not you, they took you to a prison, you see yourself in dungeons, you see yourself with witches, there are people you see around you in your dreams and they're not right people but they're always around you they're always oppressing you they're always sitting on you they're always blocking you they're always claiming you break free from them break free break free from them walk away from their realm walk away from their influence you see them taking your money walk away from them you see them block your gift is open you need put on strength and walk out walk out in the spirit walk out in the spirit refuse refuse that place refuse the addiction refuse it and say I'm not staying here I'm not staying here I'm not staying here anymore I'm not staying here anymore I am not staying here I'm not staying here anymore this is not my place this is not my ordination. I was not ordained for this. I was not called for this. I was not chosen for this. I, I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. You know, tonight we're not preaching. We're going step by step in prayer. Sit down briefly. <laughs> Open your Bible and then we shall pray. Isaiah chapter 42. Isaiah chapter 42. In verse 6. Are you ready to pray? He. He. I the Lord have called you in righteousness and I will hold your hand I will give you I will give you I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people as a light to the Gentiles oh my God to open blind eyes someone say blind eyes are opening 
So the blind eyes are opening. So blind eyes are opening. Verse 7. To open blind eyes. To bring out Saturday. To bring out. To bring out prisoners from the prison. And those who sit in darkness from the prison house. Now I want to declare the prison house is not your home. I said the prison house is not your home. I am the Lord, that is my name. And my glory I will not give to another. Nor my praise to carved images. Behold, the former things have come. And a new thing I declare. Some I declare. Before they spring up, I tell you. Look at Isaiah 42, verse 22. Let's go to verse 22. For these people, for these are people robed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes. Hmm? Some say holes. And they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey and no one delivers them. For plunder and no one says restore. So I'm saying restore. I'm saying restore. I'm not preaching, I'm, de- I'm proclaiming upon you restore. 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 The people are robbed and planted. I don't know what robbed you and what planted you. But I stand in this apostolic commission and authority and say restore. And restore. Now let me give you two things. One of the prisons are called pits. Some of the pits. Like you find someone's life in a pit. Oh my God. Oh my God. See this. You find someone with a great calling but in a pit. You remember that Joseph's call was almost destroyed if you remain in the pit. He had a dream. But his brother put him in a pit. There are powers of our father's houses, powers of our bloodlines that have kept us in the pit. Our own people, their covenants. And I'm here right now to call your soul out of the pit. To call your soul out of, your, out of the pit. When I was a young man, and I was taken to you, I was brought to Europe to be trained in the occult. And part of the training, I was in a religious house, a seminary. And part of the training was to be sexually molested every day, every day for five years by men. And I remember the pain of being molested by a man. Then because of the abuse, I got a mental breakdown. And I was taken to a psychiatric hospital. I was mad. For six months, I was in that hospital. And every day, they were pumping my body with drugs. And psychotic drugs. Sedation. And even when I'm sedated, in deep in, the, in, in sedation, they abuse my body. For five years, they're crushing my soul. And when I was in that hospital, for six months, I'm in a a psychiatric hospital. And every night, spirits come and snatch my soul and take me to a pit. If you've never been in depression, you don't understand. Sometimes you think people are just pretending and acting. You don't understand the pain of a mental breakdown, of mental illness. Even our churches. Even our churches. We don't understand when people are dying because their soul is being split and we call them, they are acting, they are pretending, they are being rebellious, they are seeking attention. 
You don't understand. When they end up saying, let me take a drug or alcohol because inside me, I am empty. There's a void. My soul has been split. And we tell them in church, act well. But when they go in their rooms, they're dying. It's dark inside there. I don't know if you understand the pain of being abused sexually by people who you think are supposed to teach you God. By authorities. I was taken to this place in Italy for the thing I'm going to be trained in religious works. And out there people are thinking I'm starting to become a priest. But I was being molested in a church circle. By priests. Every day. And you have to act. You are molested and then during the day you have to come and participate in mass. And be on the altar serving the man who molested you last night. You know as a child how, what, you, what you go through? You, tra- you, you are pretending they are talking about God but these are the same people that are abusing you. And I'm, let me say this. Even when I left, I got born again. I remained trapped because I've always felt that this man still controlled me as if he's following me everywhere I go. Even when I'm an old man, in my 30s, I could feel he still had authority over me, though he's not there physically. And then one day I said, Lord, what is this? And the Lord said, they took your soul to a grave. You are in a grave. During the time of the molesting you, they were taking you and initiating you in the power of the grave. And I said, Lord, what, what is this? Then a scripture came to me, Hosea 13, 14. I will ransom you from the power of the grave. I will ransom you from the power of the grave. And I want to tell someone right now, maybe something happened in your childhood and to escape the pain, your soul left and you've been hiding all these years in a sudden prison. You know, when a pain, such pain happens, for you not to die, Part of your soul lives and you dissociate. So you leave the body. The body is there, but you are not there. So whatever they are doing to the body, they are not doing it to you. And you fear to return to your body. You fear to come in the now. So you always live in fantasy. You create a world that is not there. Your own world. I might talk to somebody. Because you fear. To go back to this body. That, because you fear they'll take advantage of you. You fear they'll abuse you. You fear someone will abuse you. So you, you decide to create a world that does not exist. It's only you in your world. You hide there. you fragmented. Your soul is trapped. Why? Because when this event, the trauma, the pain was happening, it, as a way of surviving, you separated with yourself. There's some people here, you are still trapped in that school where you were bullied. When they were bullying you, you separated. You became another person. You got, you acquired a personality that is not you. And deep inside you know, this is not me. But I'm putting on this one to protect myself. Is there someone understand what I'm talking about? There's someone saying, Pastor, I have almost been like that. Do you know that people that you come to a time when you hate your body? You hate the way you look? You don't want to identify with your body? Because of what happened? You know some of people you may have experienced a trauma, a death, that at a certain time you decided to deny it did not happen. You say, as if you want to deny it did not happen, but it happened. Put a print on you, trapped your soul, and you're in a sudden prison. Physically, you run away, but your, your soul remained trapped there. 
You know what? Do you know why you keep dreaming the old place where something happened? You keep going to the old schools, to the old homes, those places that something happened to you and you remain trapped in that house. Your family moved out, but you remain there. And every time you're about to get a breakthrough in your dream, you return to that place. And then what you're planning fails. Someone proposes to you, the day he's got to marry, say yes, some, you go into the dream. And then he changes his mind. And you've been going through cycles and cycles of disappointment. And this is the issue. It's, there is a prison that God is now identifying and locating and say, James, go to that prison and get my people out. Sometimes we have children who are at a certain age, there was a switching. The child was normal and something happens and they switch. And then you call it autism. You call it whatever you call it. Until you deal with a prison and go in the prison and locate that child and bring that soul back to this body. Do I have people in this place that when you're growing up, you had potential? People looked at you and they said, you are the hope of everyone. You're running a good race, doing well, good at school, talented. And somewhere, somehow, something happened. And when people find it, they, they ask you, what happened? And they say, we expected you to be there. But look at what you're doing now. Look at where you are. Look at the job you're doing. What happened? With all your talents, with all your abilities, you were the best in class. What went wrong? Some people who are not as bright as you are have made it. And you say, but something, you know what to do, but you can't do it. There are times you are trapped in your mind and in your planning. You have the ideas, but you cannot execute them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm sharing this with you. It's not that good. Even me. Every time I share, I, I feel the pain. But you know why? The Lord took me through that to understand prisons. Because there are times no one believed my story. I could tell my elders, my leaders, my parents that I'm molested and no one believed me. I was the liar. Because then how could men of God do that to you? And instead, I was turned out to be, they say he's mad. He's out of his mind. He's a witch. The reason I went deep in witchcraft because I was looking for acceptance. I was looking for revenge, get more powers and destroy these men. But the more I saw power in Satan, the more it trapped my soul. All my life I was saying, the moment I have the power, I'll destroy everyone. And the more I went in revenge, the more I went deep in the pit. I feel right now, you have a potential. There's greatness in you, but you've been trapped. A prison, a place of abuse. You're trapped somewhere. We're not looking at the drugs, the things you may have got involved in, but what is the root? What is the root? Can I walk with you back to your childhood? Can I go back to that place where your parents abandoned you? Can we go back to the place where you were disappointed? Where you were stripped and you felt naked and no one understood you? Where everyone judged you? Can we go back to that place and find out if that's the gate into a certain prison and call you out and call you back? But there's a moment 
when you take back your authority. And confront your tormentor and say, look, enough is enough. You can't keep holding me here. You can't keep holding me here. One day a young lady came to me and said, bring me back. I know what she meant. She said to me, she was 15. And she said, I can't take a day. I can't stand it to take a day without sleeping with a man at 15 every day. I said, why? She said, whatever they are doing, they don't sleep with me, they sleep with my body. I am not in that body. And I told her, what happened? She gave me her story. She was raped by her brothers, two of them in the same night. And no one could believe her story. She told the parents, they didn't believe her. And she decided to live out of her body the rest of her life. She was, she, for her, she was saying, that's not me. When she sleeps with a man, the man is sleeping with a body, not her. And then she, took, she was taking drugs. And my journey was to locate that moment and take authority over the spirit that bound her and lift her up out of the prison. If we are to serve God, those prisons must be dealt with. I might talk to someone right now. I might talk to someone right now that you feel, you know, that is who you are supposed to be and you know that. But you cannot. As if you are blocked somewhere. Do I have the ministers here? Are the ministers around? The minister team is around? Okay. We're going to pray. If you ha you're trapped and you feel a trap, a prison, there's something, you know, you may, you, can, you may not be like me, but you can identify something that blocked you. And you're saying, Pastor, I need to get out. You're going to come in front here. Yes. You can kneel down if you can. You can stand whatever you feel comfortable with. And you're going to open up. You're going to tell the Lord I'm coming up. You're going to let, let the Lord walk with you if you remember that moment, that very moment, that hour. Maybe you're here and you're struggling with addiction or depression or something, you know, and you're saying, I'm tired of this prison. The minister's going to be praying with you. We can't go in, in the revival with trapped souls. Tell the Lord I'm here. Can you surrender the pains? Can you let the Lord, Father God, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing Jesus standing here as if he's coming in the prison and, and heal you. I see the love of the Father. Saturday. Talk to Jesus. You know, there's a memory you fear, but let's, let's go to it right now and let the Lord deal with it. Here you are on the altar. Here you are. Whatever happened, happened in that house, what happened in that school, what happened in that home, what happened in that place. Saturday. When you lost some, someone so important in your life and you've never recovered from the grief, 
and your family did not recover. But now, can pray, pray. Someone behind there, someone here, someone behind there. Oh my God, the power of God. Something is going to leave you because you're going to be lifted up. She did it. When you lost every property, you lost your business and something trapped. You lost all the money. You lost all the money. You were betrayed. You were betrayed. Oh, my dad, ministers, come and lay hands. Come and minister to the people of God. Because I feel right now the healing is going on. I feel the wave of healing. I feel the wave of healing. You know, the secrets you never told anyone. Words you never said. You fear to share your story. It's so painful and deep. The accusations, the rejection. As a baby abandoned by parent, your mother hating you, not liking you, calling you names. Now let's deal with that. Let's deal with that. Parental rejection. Let's deal with that. Body shaming. Let's deal with that. Always comparing you with others. Your parents telling you that you are not as good as your brothers or your sisters. And that what tormented you and trapped your soul. Come and go, go through the healing now. Go through right now. When they called you names, they said you are not like them. Let there be ministry right now. Yeshua, Yeshua. This man, Lord. The prison, let them open. As a baby, as a seven-year-old, as a nine-year-old, as a 12-year-old, as a teenager, what happened to you? Lord God, we'll revisit that moment and call her back. The potential in you, the talents all blocked. Saturday, the filthiness. Someone, even you have failed to conceive. You failed even to have a child because of that abuse, because of that blockage. And you're saying, now I'm getting older without a child. And you're crying. My soul is coming up. My soul bless the Lord. My soul bless the Lord. My soul bless the Lord. The healing of your soul. And coming out of the prison. Oh, the healing of your vision. Come on, minister love. Minister love. Carry them from the prison. Carry them as if you are lifting her from that place where the father died, from that place where the funeral happened, from that place where the accident happened, from that place where the witchcraft was done, from that place where the, child, the family was just away, from that place where they ran away, from that place where they were leaving their home. When the father denied you and said, you are not my child. We are dealing with that right now. Now, where the father said you're not my child and you've struggled for a father and someone here you are saying in your life you don't know your father you've never met your father and you're saying where is the man supposed to be my father and you're longing and say where is my father pray my brother pray 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 oh because when you left, you left with nothing. You left with nothing. And you came to a land and you're saying, oh God, even I fear to return. I fear to go back. I fear because nothing has worked out. Nothing has worked out. And I've become a vagabond. But today, Ratebria. Break free, break free, break free. Minister of God, lay hands on people. Pray, pray, pray. The pains. Oh, love that baby. Love that child. Love her. She got her ministers. Ladies, men, minister the brothers. As brothers, as fathers, as mothers, as mothers, as mothers, as mothers. Pray, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. We are like a breathing moment. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Pray for that sister there. Pray for that sister. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Give me your hand, brother. I lift you up. I lift you up. I lift you up. 
up, out, up, out of the war, out of the war, out of the war, out of the war. When you were surrounded by a gang and you felt like dying, I lift you up out of the gang, out of them, out of them. I lift you up out of that hospital, out of that hospital. Out of the prison, 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 out of the prison. Out of the prison. Pray, everybody, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Ha, Radea. Jika tabradea. Jika tabradea. Yoksa. Satabra. Come up. Come up and out. Come up. Out of the pit. Out of the valley. Out of the dungeon. Out of the prison. Out. Up. Out. Up. Up. Out. Up. 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 Lift it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. You're coming up. 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 Up and out. Pray. 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 Pray out of bitterness. Pray. Say, Lord, I'm coming up. Lord, I'm coming up. Look at me, Lord. Look at me in this pit. Look at me in this pit. Look at me. Come out, my daughter. Come out, my daughter. Shut up. The Lord comfort you. The Lord comfort you out. Comfort you. The comfort of the Lord. The comfort of the Lord. The comfort of the Lord. Out of grief. 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 Out of loneliness. You feel lonely. You feel alone. Isolated. Left alone. Left alone. Pray. Shiriria. Radaria. Shikarabaria. Manderebush. Jiria. Mayade. I release the power of God to lift you up. Yeriria. Yeriria. Whatever was done. Whatever was done as witchcraft in the family that trapped you as abuse come out come out of it 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 come out of them come out of them come out of them shiriara baba riderebosh sarararia shikatara randeara jikarabaya rinderebosh radea let the power of god let the fire of God come upon you now. Come upon you now. Come upon you now. Break free and break loose. Break free and break loose. Break free and break loose. People, I see. I see you rising. I see you as a baby. I see you as a little girl. I'm not home. I see you as a little boy. I see you now. You're breaking free. Saradelea. Yay. Riderebosh. Shikatabra. Let's keep praying. Let's keep praying. Let's keep praying. You are a helper for someone, but you are trapped. There is a lot of wealth in your hands, which is trapped. A lot of wealth, a lot of ability, potentials, potentials. As a man of God, as a woman of God, to deliver many. But you've been trapped. You've been trapped. And you are coming up now. Break free. This is a people robbed and planted, snared in holes, and they are hidden in prison houses. But tonight, tonight, 
we locate the prison houses and open one by one. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands, everybody. Just raise two hands to God. Just lift those hands to God. Just raise those hands to God. The heaviness that has been on you is lifted now. The heaviness, the heaviness, the heaviness that has been on you. The, the heaviness, the heaviness. Lift your hands. I'm seeing a heaviness. Something was heavy on your life. The weight of darkness, the weight that has been on your life, the weight you and your two sisters of the, your mother, the weight is being lifted right now. Right now. You are three from one mother and you and your two sisters, the weight is lifted right now. Yes. The spirit of death that has followed you, which that tells you that commit suicide. Right now, I command it to leave you now. Spirit of, the, of death, suicide. Live now. Let leave you now. It's going our way. Now lift your hands, somebody. Now, where you are, if what brought you into that was an initiation from your family, now in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to lose you and go. I command that spirit to lose you and go. Whatever was, whatever was done in the family and you were sold as a sacrifice to those powers, I release you right now. 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 When they sold you as a sacrifice, Sharadadea, she's coming out. She's coming out. Sold. When they sold you, Married you to a spirit, to a power. Married you to it. That's why you cannot get married. Whoever comes to you, leaves you. Whoever comes to you, because that person who abused you was initiating you to something. That young man, that man who abused you, initiating you. Right now, I break that from you. <clears throat> pray for her, pray for her. Pray for him. Be free from your father's altars. 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 From your father's altars. Who was in a secret society? Who was a who was a member of a society and sold their soul? Be free from his powers. Be free from his sacrifices. Be free from the sacrifice of that authority. Be free from his sacrifice, from his vows. Be free. Be free. Any authority that made sacrifices and dedicated you and claimed you and sold you as a prisoner, I release you today. I release you today. I release you today. I release you today from your father, your grandfathers, from the priests, from the priests, from the priests who have authority on you. Be free from their powers. Be free from their covenant. Pray. 
everyone who may have been sold unknowingly who was sold by a priest by an authority by a father by a spouse if you are sold as slave to darkness I call you out now where you are where you are sold to an idol your friends took you to a place and you got involved in divination in pen rams, in palm reading you went into sciences you were involved in some kind of worship a diviner a woman who could read omens who read your life and captured your potential and captured your blessing and captured you now you're getting out 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 from that wizard from that CNC that woman who was reading omens where you went in that house you got involved in yoga the speed of yoga that snake get out of your back get out of your back yes 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 that prison is breaking someone someone tried to initiate you on the internet someone became like a master to you like a guide and you called him a guide I trapped your soul but right now I break the ungodly soul tie I break that tie with that woman I break tie with that spirit I break the tie with that priestess that woman who took you to the water and bathed you I break the tie now Come up and come out. 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 I know she's holding your foot. She doesn't want you to go, but come up and come out. Come up, come out. Yes. 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 Saturday some some Eastern religion some things Father God tonight the prisons are opening every cycle mental illness in the family in the bloodline mental illness in the family I end it right now I stop it right now I come again it's right now I stop it right now that which caused people especially men to be wasted we end it now we end it now miscarriages miscarriages we end them now mental illness disorders yes we end them now we end them now we end them now. We end them now. Let me ask everyone to stand on your feet. Oh my God.
Everybody stand. Stand. If you can, if you can't stay where you are. The wind of the spirit is going to sweep in this room. A season to end a covenant that claimed you where you are right now where you are right now I pray that the ministers around and near because it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be powerful it's gonna be powerful, my God. It's like fire. It's gonna fall down on people's lives. You know, remember the pain. You not be rejected again. You not be tormented again. Whatever has been tormenting you in your dreams, a spirit that comes and torment you and molest you in your dreams that married you, that claimed you, that blocks your blessing. Any evil exchange that was done on you, whoever came in your family and exchanged, you and all of you, your mother's children, have all been wasted. Because there was an evil exchange of inheritance. Lift your hand, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus. Restore now. Restore now. 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 There you are. Now. There you are. There you are. There you are. The power of God is there. There you are. There you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are right there. There you are. There you are. It's leaving you now. The fear is gone. The evil spirit is gone. The evil marriage is cancelled. The, the darkness has left. The yoke is broken. Ah! The yoke is broken now. 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 Somebody pray. Now. It's lifted. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Now. Now. In the name of Jesus, now, now it's lifted. Now it's lifted. Where the, somebody come and help me here. Now it's going. Somebody come and help me here. Now it's going. Now it's going. Now it's going. Now it's going. Hey, the shadow, the shadow of darkness that has been on your talent, on your talent, they, they've been using you using your name, using you to prosper, and for you to suffer. The shadow is gone. Pray, everybody, pray. 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 Somebody come and help me. It's breaking now. The shadow is gone. Pray against the shadow. Pray against any evil shadow. The Most High God. Pray. 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 Pray, pray, shada da 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 da. The shadow's gone. Pray, pray, everybody, pray. My God, the power of God is here. Makata da 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 da. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. It's come on end now. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking off his life. The shadow, the evil exchange, the shadow. It's coming to an end. The shadow, the shadow, the shadow, the shadow, the initiation, the claim, the claim, the claim. It's broken. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. 
the idol. Let you go. Let you go. The family idol. The bloodline idol. Let you go. 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 Sharadaradara. Rikarabaria. Shikatabria. Rikarabaria. Radea. Mataria. Shirea. Radea. Pray everybody where you are. It's breaking. It's breaking. The shadow of darkness. The claim. The marks. The mark. The claims of darkness. Today. 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 Spread it. 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 It's breaking. Every shadow of darkness. Every shadow. Block your destiny. Every shadow. Radearaba. Rikerebosh. Sarabarie. Riderebaya. Radearaba. Shikerea. Makatea. Rikorobari. Radea. Shikereba. Rea. Radea. 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 Shadara. Shadara. Rikereba. I release you from the claims. From the claims. Arise. Arise in power. Arise. 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 Radeara, Sherekarea, Rikerebaya, Maradea, Shikerea, Sharabaria, Raya, Radea, Shikerea, Mataria, Shia, Rikerea, Shika, be filled, Shara. Holy Spirit. Release her. Release her. Release her. Release her. Jesus. If you want a prayer, you come here. Be filled. And remove the shadow. Remove the blockage. The barriers. The hindrances. The hindrances. The hindrances. In Jesus' name. Yes. Yes, the pain, the pain, the pain. Sharadeya, Shiaraba, Rikarabaya. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Sharadeya. I give you the hand of fellowship. Aradia. Pray everybody where you are. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Radea. No stagnation. No delays. No delays, no delays. Yes, Yarabada, Shitere, Radea, Materia, Rikerebosh, Shikataya, Manderia, Sharaba, Radea, Sarabosh, Rikarabaya. Pray, be just pray, just pray. The yoke is breaking, the Sunday is breaking. Just pray the power of God is pray that the yoke is breaking. Pray, pray, be prayer, be in prayer. Because something's leaving you. When I lay hands on you, it goes. It melts. It melts. It melts. I see it's running away. That evil animal is running away. It's running away. That evil animal. That that water spirit is running away. It's running away. It's running away. I release you today. I release you. 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 Your destiny. Your soul from the evil altar, from the water altar, from the marine altar. I release you. I release you. I release you. I release you. I release you today. I cancel the covenant. I cancel the switching. I cancel the switching. The initiations, the claims. I cancel them. I cancel them. I cancel them. I cancel them. Just lift your hands if you can, please. Do it, Lord. Remove the shadows. End the covenants. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God, I pray for your birthright. 
I pray for your birthright. I pray for your birthright to be given back to you. Pray for your birthright. Everybody pray. I pray for your birthright. Whoever is occupying your birthright, I dislodge him now and give it back to you. I give you back your birthright. I give it back to you. You will not be slave. You will not be a slave. You're a chief. You're a leader. You're not a slave. You're not a slave. Yes. Yes. Give your birthright back to you. Yes. Father. Yes. Yes, Lord. This family, they are birthright. They are birthright. They are birthright. They are birthright. They are birthright of their father. Of their father. Of their father. Lord, I pray for him and his father. Lord, restore the family. Restore this house. Restore this house, Lord. Restore this house. Restore their inheritance. Restore the inheritance. Restore the inheritance, Lord. Restore. 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 Lord God, restore. They will not be vagabonds. Restore. 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 Lord, they said that he should go far and die. But he will not die. They kept saying, let him stay far. But today, in the name of Jesus, restore. Restore and bless. Restore and bless. Restore and bless. Everybody pray. I bless you. 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 I cancel. I cancel the speed of loss. I speak right now. No more loss. Jesus' name. I remove the shadow. Be free. Be free. Be free and be healed. Be free and be healed. I know our time is fast spent and we need to pray. We just lift your hands. Just, just one minute, your hands up. Just that. Because there are these mighty angels I'm seeing. They have an assignment over someone's life. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, someone here. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, yes, angels of God, do your work, please. Angels of the Lord, why you've been sent in this place, I don't know, but I've accomplished why you've been sent. Accomplish why you've come in this meeting. There you are, 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 there you are. Help him, help him, help him, help him, help him, help him. There you are. Help him. Radea. Help them. Help that one. Rikata Bradea. Shiterea. Herataya. Angels of God. They are breaking chains. They are pouring anointing on people. They have come in this place. Hey. Shitadea. The angel still here. The angel still here. Do what you. We permit you to do your work. We permit to deliver that girl. We permit to deliver that man. A prophet of God. That have been trapped for days. A prophet of God. I permit you to open that place for him. To open that place, that city for him. Open that ministry for him. Open that call for him. Ay, 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 ay. The power of God. The angel of God. She
take off those glasses. Now is the hour of impartation. Lift your hands. Impartation of power. Impartation of the anointing to deliver the bound. The anointing to heal the sick. The anointing to make. Ah, prophesy. Prophesy now. In the name of Jesus. In the. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. See. See. Soaked in glory. Soaked in fire. Soaked in power. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an ego. The ego's anointing. The ego's anointing. The ego's anointing. Like an arrow. Like an arrow. Like an arrow in your life. Like an arrow in your ministry. Like an arrow. To destroy strongholds. To destroy powers of darkness. To destroy altars of darkness. Receive the power. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Woman of God. Man of God. Receive the mantle. Receive it now. Receive it now! You can do what I'm doing even greater. You can do what I'm doing in the nations even greater. You can do greater a hundred times. You have the authority. I send you that authority. I send in that power. I send that power. Hey, hey, hey. There you are. There you are. There you are. Help her, help her. Help her. Lift your hands. I permit you. I permit you. I permit you. I permit you. I open the dimension for you. I open the realm for you. Get access. Get the power. Get the authority. Get the mantle. Get the authority. Go in that power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. 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 The power is flowing from me. I feel the power flowing. I feel the spirit flowing. I feel. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God, my God. Oh, my. Hey, hey. Shut up. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. That one there, two of you. Come on, you and her. It's yours. Father, I pray. The anointing. Ha. I pray. Someone lift your hands where you are. You'll never be empty from today. You'll never be denied. You'll not be denied again. You'll never be denied. I awaken. Your prayer mantle. I awaken. Shh. Shh. Come on. I awaken. Your authority. Your authority. Your authority. Build a house of prayer. Build a house of prayer. Gather them into a house of prayer. Build a house of prayer. Build a house of prayer. Build a house of prayer. Mother house of prayer. Build a house of prayer. Build a house of prayer. Build it. Build it. A house of prayer. A house of prayer. Where you are, the power is there. The power of God. Shut it. God, do it. God, do it. Healing prophets, go heal them, 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 go deliver them, go deliver them, go deliver them, go deliver them, go heal them, go set them free, go heal the 
nation. Go heal the nations. Go heal the nation. Go heal the nation. Go heal the nation. Go disciple them. Go prophesy. 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 Go heal them. Go heal them. Go set them free. Go. You're healed. Your eyes are open. Be healed. Go set them free. Go heal them now. Go in the power of the Holy Spirit. Go and be free. Be free from the power. Be free from what blocked you. Be free from the darkness. Be healed. Go. Go release them. Go release them. Go. Go, I gave it to you. I gave it to you. I release you into that realm. I release you into that power. I release that gifting. Into that gifting. Into that gifting. Into that gifting. I release you. I release you. Shara da 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 da. Rikere bo shara. Go. Rade araba. Shikara baria. Rikere bo sh. Ah. Have it. Have it. Have it. Shata baria. Shereka. Rikere baya. Ayot. Yes. Go. Go. Go deliver them. Go lift them out. Have authority. Go. On those platforms, I send you. On platforms, I send you. On platforms, go! Shut up. Just lift your voice. Come on. Let's fix our gaze on Jesus. Jesus. We are rising to our ordination. Out of the pit. He lifts me out of the Mary clay. And he sets my feet upon a rock. He sets my feet upon a rock. On a firm foundation. I am no longer in a sinking stand. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand while all the grounds is sinking sand. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey! Ay 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 ay! Vanda vale de vasa tale de vai. Oh ya ya manda mala na mala na mala da vai. Hey! He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Before this meeting, we prayed specifically for life altering encounters. And for some of you in this room, that has been what's happened to you. Because in years to come, this is going to be one of those meetings you look back on and you'd say, that night. There was a shift in my life for the good. Father, we honor that which you have deposited, that which you are doing, and that which you're going to continue to do. Because you know the presence of God rests and remains. For, for some of you, you're going to leave this place and it's going to carry on as you step out of this place into your home. Listen, be careful the kind of conversations you get into after this sort of atmosphere. Be careful. Don't just go home and put on a movie and just get into the flesh. God, what a, some of you just need to go home and stay quiet for a moment. Just allow the Lord to even bring more revelation to, to you of what he's doing. Because after moments like this, it's easy to just get easily distracted and lose the, the depth of what is actually going on. So Father, we thank you for what you're doing. 
Listen, friends, I was going. Some of you, you will lead a prayer meeting that will not stop. You will go to a place and start a prayer and it will go 24 hours for days and days. And that will be a city, a city wide revival. I said, There are people here, God has given you that mandate. That mandate. This woman is being healed right now to go and lead a prayer. She's being healed right now. And her testimony shall cause men to know the Lord. The power of some many people are being healed in this meeting right now. Cancers, tumors, tumors are disappearing, headaches. healed now and go and heal God's people go hold her hold her I don't want her to fall hold her hold her hold her because the oh my god see the anointing on her go heal God's people go heal the people you're not dying you are not dying you are not dying receive the image of the, the vision of heaven begin to see Jesus right now if tonight the Lord Jesus will visit you and you have a conversation with him. The Lord Jesus will come in your room and you will, you will talk. I see it. You are set free. There are people who feel you are supposed to lead a citywide prayer. You start a prayer and everyone, you're, oh my God. Jesus. Like that young lady who led me to Christ? The people who have that grace that you will become a realm of prayer. That everyone who comes in your, in your presence will pray. Yes. You are an apostle of prayer. Yes. You are an apostle of prayer. You will build a prayer move. Shatakatabra. You raise a prayer army. Rakata. You raise a prayer army that will shake the powers of darkness. You will go to Africa and there will be a great revival in that place. You go into a city and it's a mining city. The people in that city are miners. There's a mine there. And you're going there and God is going to use you in power to deliver the people of that town. You will open barren wombs. There's a young lady here. The anointing upon you is to open barren wombs. You cause mothers to bring forth. The anointing on you, oh my God. Hey. Oh my God. You open, you open wombs. You open wombs. I see you are an authority of a certain nation. You speak a word. And things are aligned because you come from a royal bloodline. Your family, you are royals. And God is giving you back your throne and the scepter of your father. Be free now! Your father squandered the throne squandered the authority and they took it up from him but now God is giving that scepter to you someone here your father was a minister but things did not go well and the ministry almost died but that mantle is still hanging in the air the Lord want to drop it upon you and, and restart that ministry restart that ministry because you come from a bloodline of prophets your mother was a prophetess, an intercessor, who raised men of God. Your mother raised men of God. Your mother raised ministers. And God is saying, I'm releasing a reward to you because of your mother. I'm releasing a reward to you because of the prayer and the giving of your mother right now. Claim it. My God. Lift. Father, I pray right now for the teaching anointing. A man who teach mysteries, 
who will teach the word. God is giving authority to remove deception and lies in the church through your teachings, through your teachings, through the things God is teaching you. You will destroy the lies and the charlatans in the church and the liars and the false prophets. God is giving authority over them. Oh my God, there's a man here. There's a man here. You will teach and you will destroy the lies of many generations in the church. In the church. God is calling you to teach. Teach them. And when you teach, signs, miracles, and wonders will confirm your messages from now. From now, there is a man in this meeting. From this moment, you realize that every time you teach signs, miracles, and wonders, people will not be coming for miracles, but for the truth that you're releasing. I pray that God trusts you with kingdom wealth. Kingdom wealth. Kingdom wealth. The wealth of nations for the work of the Lord. May you be the child that will end the curse in your family. The curse of poverty. May you be the kinsman redeemer. May you deliver the family from poverty, from curses. May you be the pathfinder. Can you lift your hands one, one more time? Father, I pray for the builder's anointing. The anointing that builds. The builder's anointing. May you build empires, build businesses, build schools, build hospitals, build churches, build homes. I pray with you and your wife, husband and wife, may you be builders from right now, from today. From today, build ministries that will last for generations. Build businesses. Build businesses. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that right now release ideas, innovations upon these men and women that they will go as arrows. Wow, I get we can keep going and going, right? <laughs> Lift your hands one more time. Father, Father, Father. Thank you for what you're doing in this place. Thank you for the grace, the anointing, you're releasing. Thank you for the new realms you're opening up. We walk into it. We walk into it. We walk into it, Lord. We walk into it. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 